Hey Chet's crew and other viewers, i uh, got another review for you today, I've got my darling wife home with me to do this one now, she's back from her, uh, all healed up from her surgery enough to come home and uh, say hello to you. Hey guys. And we're going to be reviewing Sweet Shop Watermelon Slices mm. from the Made for the Dollarama store. I've never had these before. Anything uh, watermelon's gonna be good. And we're yeah, anything watermelon's gonna be good. Uh, I'll give you a little anecdote about how much my wife loves watermelon after <laughs> after the intro. It's time for another episode of CHTV with your host Chester Hallett. You could see funny food reviews. Watch him drink it all from the skull. Funny stories. Or whatever else comes to his crazy mind. So sit back and enjoy. Hey, we're back. And uh, before I get into the uh, the review, I want to tell you a little story about when my uh, wife was pregnant uh, with our son. Uh, well, a little over 25 years ago now, because mm -hmm. he just had his 25th birthday here a couple weeks ago. Uh, she, while she was pregnant, like before she was pregnant and after she was pregnant, she always craved like chips and stuff like that. But while she was pregnant, she craved a lot of fruits and, and really, really craved watermelon. Like, oh, she loves it anyway, but, uh, but anyway... <laughs> We went into our local grocery store there one day and bought this great big watermelon and brought it home and uh, <laughs> sat it on the counter after uh, bringing it in from the uh, vehicle. It was in a bag, by the way. It was in a bag, and uh, the bag and the watermelon rolled off on the floor, and it split. <laughs> <laughs> after she got all the groceries put away, she just sat down in the middle of the floor. <laughs> with two spoons. Picked up the bag with two spoons and just sat there and proceeded to eat the whole watermelon by herself. <laughs> oh, but anyway, and then the next day she went back and bought another one. And I think she ate that within two days. <laughs> I can say within three days. I but I, I might have got one slice out of the two watermelons. Mm. <laughs> but anyway, uh, now I just thought that'd be a funny little story to share. <laughs> well, before we get into this, and of course these are not real watermelon, buddy, any stretch of the imagination. But. Uh, Let's see, ingredients, sugar, glucose, syrup, <laughs> yeah. He basically sugar dyed pink and green. So, uh, without further ado, get out the old handy dandy shears here. I'm not struggling ripping this, but it says, actually it says here on this little red ribbon, made with real fruit. So, we'll hey, see. never know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get myself a couple out first because I might not see him again once I pass him there. Let's see, I'll get uh, one, two, three, four, five. That'll be a good sample size. You can see them in the bag here. They're pretty, I know that. Pink and, and uh, light green. But I guess that's the pretty much the colors of a watermelon, I guess. Oh my god, they smell like it though. Yeah, I never thought to smell in the bag. You can't smell in the bag, but smell, you can smell more. Oh, I got the bag back. Oh, yeah, it's hard to tell. I got the fan going because it's uh, warm in here this evening, but but you can really you can really smell that the fruit juices and stuff mm -hmm. into it, uh, or whatever they got into a flavor. It says, oh, it says made with real fruit juice, so. But anyway, without too much further ado, mm -hmm. they got that kind of soury, mm -hmm. like powdered sugar on the outside. Like not really sour, like a sour candy, but 
kind of like the sour they have on the peach rings. If anybody's ever had the peach ring. But. Yeah. I'm just trying to dissolve that outer layer there. Mmm. Yeah, that watermelon flavor is really there, I'll tell you. Mm. Kind of a... To me, it seems like it's kind of a boosted watermelon flavor. Like, probably a bit of... Like, unnatural flavor to boost the flavor of it. Oh, probably. Because... Unless they use some really flavorful little watermelon to make it. But. Mmm. They are good. They use concentrated apple juice in it, too. Concentrated apple juice in it? Hmm. Sure. That's probably the only real. That's probably the only real fruit juice in it. They're supposed to be watermelon. But. Ah. Uh, yeah, but they do. Whatever they use to make the watermelon flavor, it's mm. pretty spot on. But it tastes like a really sweet watermelon. Like I find some of the smaller watermelons you get around here lately that they're just kind of watery and they don't have a whole lot of flavor to them. But these ones here like remind you of the old-fashioned watermelons. They're great, deep red, and lots of flavor to them. Good thing they only come in small bags. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But anyway, yeah, sweet chop. Pulling it out. That uh that was uh pulling it out. <laughs> that didn't come out right. Hitting the mark. Hitting the mark, yeah. That sounds better. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna have another one here. They're real chewy, like if yeah. They're like a gummy consistency. Mm -hmm. Well, like peach rings, everybody knows what they are. Or I guess everybody knows what they are. We eat them a lot, so. But I find if you dissolve the sugar off first and soften them up a bit, they're a lot easier to chew. That's old folks with hardly any teeth left. <laughs> well. Mm. They are good, though. And of course, they must be diabetic friendly, or we would. <laughs> yeah. Or we wouldn't be eating them. Only 24 grams and eight slices. <laughs> <laughs> the first three ingredients are three different types of sugar mm. sugar, <laughs> glucose, <laughs> and high fructose corn syrup. Sugar covered with sugar covered with sugar. Uh, basically globs of high fructose corn syrup covered with glucose and sugar. <laughs> but, uh, well. I feel the urge to clean the house. <laughs> I have to take more insulin tonight again. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> oh, as you can see, I'm a lot more jovial now that my wife is home. But Anyway, uh, yeah, to get right on with that rating, what do you give it? No, it's five for me. It's a five out of five hours for her. I love you. And uh, just for the sake of not agreeing, I guess I'm going to say <laughs> four and a half out of five. Of course you're not going to agree. <laughs> four and a half out of five hours for me just for the fact that they are, they do taste a little, in my opinion, they do taste a little artificial. Uh that's the only reason I'm knocking off a point five. Don't get me wrong, I'm not against artificial flavors if they taste good. But uh, if somebody like it says it says made with real fruit on that sticker there, so just for the fact that it tastes artificial, that's the only reason I'm knocking off a point five. He just didn't want to agree with me. <laughs> but anyway, so there you go. I'm always good at five out of five hours and I'll give it four point five out of five hours. So with that, I'll say remember, if you can't laugh with me, laugh at me, but keep laughing. <laughs> Have a nice day. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please consider dropping a like. And uh, if you'd like to become a member of Chet's crew, it's very simple and it doesn't cost a cent. Just hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to help me grow the channel, please consider sharing the video on other forms of social media. It helps the channel out very much. Thank you, and have a nice day.